Hello everyone and welcome to Baby Dragons Academy. So this time we are trying out Mind Over Magic, which as the name suggests, it is a game about magic back in the days and uh, well, we've got a bit of a story over here. So once a school stood here, time however ground that fine institution to rubble, I entrust to you the stewardship of a new age of magical learning. Rebuild the school, train billion new mages, Explore the underschool, it won't be easy, but I believe you are up to the task. Though my body is long gone, my spirit yet lingers and will serve you faithfully. So that note is from Philippe, uh, founder of Baby Dragons Academy. Okay, great. So the first thing we get to do is select our starting staff. So I think we are gonna kind of... Hmm, what should we do? It doesn't really mat matter the, the first few we we bring with us so let's just go with something random we've got earth okay maybe we change you to let's do something else let's do nature okay so we are now starting with earth nature and dark wand so found the school here we go and we are our newly founded school there isn't really much to see here right now but we are gonna have to repel the fog real quick okay let's add one staff over here now i have played this for a couple of hours to sort of understand the basics uh, first, otherwise it will be uh, probably very embarrassing not knowing what to do. Um, overall, the game seems to be fairly straightforward, I want to say. So at the top left we have sort of like a tutorial area over here and all the notifications as well, such as right now we have a lot of idle staff, so this isn't very good. Let's uh, give them some jobs to do. We definitely want to start mining some rocks and some uh, chopping some trees as well. Okay, cool. So, um, here we go. We can have a look around. We've got the mountains in the background and then fork to the left and fork to the right. So, essentially, our task is to build a, um, a school here, a university. And the way we're going to do it is by harvesting the resources, of course. And then occasionally sort of upgrading ourselves, doing some research and venturing into the underworld as well. Now, the uh, construction menu is under number one or at the bottom left here. And okay, we don't have any stone, we don't have any... Right. Um, to make sure that we are getting the things we need, we also have this typical sort of priority system that you have certainly seen in many other games. Oh, one more cool thing. This game is developed by Sparky Pants, which um, I'd never heard before. However, the publishing is done by Clay. Now, Clay is uh, fairly uh, fairly famous already, I'd say. Especially if you played Oxygen Not Included or Don't Starve Together before. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, there are a few familiar things as well. So um, pretty uh, pretty happy with this. So yeah, high expectations, I must say. Okay, do we have any? Yes, we do. Let's um, plant some walls here. Okay, we're gonna give them a bit of a door as well for access. And um, <laughs> you are mining here. Let's just uh, tell them to mine specific things. We don't need everything just yet. So we can either click those resources individually or if you double click, it highlights everything on our screen right now. Okay, so that's all the rocks. Let's do all the trees as well. I don't think they chopped down the um, sort of trees that are still growing. So we should be fairly safe. Okay, now uh, shift and two brings up the task priority. So we have someone on mining already. We need someone on chopping. We have that. And then perhaps Philip over here. Philip, you could be construction. Yeah, let's do that. At least for the time being. Okay, now let's do some walls on this side as well. Uh, <laughs> we are gonna have to get the roofs up and high before the before the night time. Okay, can we speed up a little bit as well? Now the question is, where shall we place the other uh, other walls? I mean, it doesn't matter too much. We can always change things around a little bit later as well. So I think if the corridor is going to be, let's say somewhere here, okay, a couple of walls. Now the options we have, floors or roofs. I think right now we can, um, <laughs> we can probably do, ooh, okay. Let's do floors over here for the time being. 
because we know we're gonna go up fairly, fairly, fairly soon. All right, so whilst they are harvesting away, we should build a couple of things as well. So first, we are gonna need to make some uh, make some science over here. I believe the arcane uh, secretary was, yep, used by staff to research new knowledge for the school. So very important. Would also like to make some food. And we got this scroll pot over here. Oh dear. Okay, one second. We are a little bit silly. We definitely need the door here. And then let's do a hallway. Right about uh, right about here as well. Okay, door. Uh, slightly high priority. There we go. Just don't want anyone to be be stuck, you know. Okay. Lovely. So things are going up slowly. What is the time? The time is 2 p.m. right now. Cool. Now, next thing... I, mm, do we want them to sleep on the floor? Maybe. Uh, right, right, right. To make the one shaper. So this is uh, something we need to uh, start bringing in some students. And that's something that's going to help us progress a lot quicker as well as the students help us do some sort of more mundane tasks. All right. First research is ready to be uh, <laughs> researched. Right, so what shall we go with? We can't do the, the foliage over here. Okay, so that's for the trees. That's all right. Should we do dining? Okay, a few more recipes. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. We could use some lights actually as well. Man and lantern. Grave thoughts. No one's going to die just yet. This one is going to be quite important as well for uh, some recipes, but they can only be maintained by students. How about we go for the light first, and then we go for the delightful decomposition later. Yeah, shine on, light my fire first. Okay, that means someone's going to have to do some research as well. And since Luna over here is very important for mining, uh, yeah, maybe research after that. Adriana over here, however, sounds and seems like a perfect, uh, perfect teacher to go and help us with the research. Is that you? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, lovely. Now, next thing, let's have a look what else we can build over here under construction. Right, so we're not going to go. Let's uh, climb up tomorrow. Let's have a look at the furniture. Okay, we've got some beds. One, two three let's place three of them over there for the time being all right we are moving pretty fast aren't we <laughs> so next yep yeah, here's our characters and basically if we highlight so philip doesn't really have a lot so he's kind of like the the spirit that lingers around the place and he doesn't need any food doesn't need any sleep nothing at all oh here's our first room that's uh, just been been completed. So yeah, Philip is kind of like a very helpful uh, spirit that uh, doesn't need any maintenance. Now, looking at Luna over here, here's basically our life. So how many times Luna can die before she she sort of like really, really dies and disappears and we need to sort of get rid of her body. Now, then we also have the health. We have the mana. So mana is something they use daily for harvesting, doing tasks, and yeah, every time they use the stick, they use mana, and to get more mana when, uh, once it runs out is from under Underworld. Okay, we could probably repel some fog as well. We need cut berries wood. Oh yeah, we don't have a lot, a lot of cut berries right now. So, this brings us to gardening. Let's uh, set up some... Let's have a look. If we press T, we are able to... Yeah... Uh, sort of have a peek what's behind there in case there's a lot of resources in the way. So we are going to place down four of those Godberry uh, <laughs> planters. Uh, let's get rid of the tutorial. Seems the fog is starting to advance as well. The people are going to be a little bit frightened. So let's grab Luna again. Uh, right, conviction is kind of like their morale. Uh, so let's have a look. Status and conviction. So it shows us the hunger, sleep, recreation. And all these we can improve, obviously, by doing, you know, eating, sleeping, and playing some games. But um, the, the sort of rooms they sleep in as well, just like in Oxygen Not Included, they will have an impact on their conviction. Right, and here we get a full report of how this person is doing. 
Okay, trials and medallions. So when they are students, they will have to accomplish certain tasks and uh, through that they will gain uh, medallions, which will then give them uh, certain bonuses. So for example, let's have a look. Luna over here has boosted power and also boosted HP and speed which is uh, very useful when we go underground and start fighting some baddies. Okay, I think it is time to repel the fog and uh, based on what I've... Let me just pause it real quickly. Based on what I've learned so far, it is always better to do the superior repel the, the fog than the, than the usual one as it um, consumes less resources. Uh, but okay, everyone is sleeping right now. So let's not wake them up until it is a little bit earlier. Uh, cool, we have some new stuff as well under the furniture. Oh yeah, mana lant lantern over here. So that's essentially like the, the this rock here. Yeah, uh, once our base becomes very big, uh, they'll have to run all the way down from our our building or the university to recharge their ones. So placing ma mana lanterns uh, around the place will be will be uh, will improve our efficiency a lot. Okay, now. Crafting, we have done already, haven't we? But we have not set any recipes. So let's do some Godberry soups, and we probably want to have some uh, Fibo here, and then carcass soup as well. Basically, dead rats. Uh, dead rats do, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, this uh, over here. <laughs> let's demonstrate something else as well. So if we go under conviction, they are feeling slightly unsafe, and that is because the fog is really close to us, like really close. And as we can see, now that's settled in, let's have a look at Luna again. Is that come down? Okay, minus five it is. Well, anyways, everyone's going to be waking up very soon, so let's place you guys here. It's going to take one hour, and we are going to repel the fog even further. Okay, the further... Oh yeah, one more thing. The further we repel the fog, the better sort of and more unique or rare resources we are going to find. Yeah, that's definitely going to be interesting. Okay, so where are we? We have the shine on already and almost halfway through light my fire, it seems. Right. Okay, we have the planters that are already autosave complete, unreachable object. Oh, we've got something on the roof, not to worry. Why don't we start heading upwards? So yeah, at the start it's not really gonna matter where we build and how we build stuff. So let's say we are gonna build the, the spiral staircase like so. I find the spiral staircases a lot easier than the stairs. Because with the stairs you kind of have to, it takes up a lot of space like so. And then if you want to do like like stacked up ones, it's um, yeah pretty wide space over there. Anyways, okay, the stairs. It's not gonna take too long, which is lovely. Now let's go up another another five, I suppose. I would like to create like a corridor over here, five on this side and this side. I don't think we need anything, which means you can be cancelled. Okay. And <laughs> we'll do a couple of doors over here. And then we can have a slightly bigger space, perhaps. Maybe not. Maybe we'll uh, make it a bit smaller. We'll do a bit of dining over here. And then another private area. Somewhere about here. Okay. Yeah, let's place a door over here as well. Oh, this side is going to be a little funky, isn't it? How much time do we have? It's still morning, 10 a.m. Oh dear, okay. Hold on a second. Why aren't we doing this ritual here? Um, Because we don't have the ingredients. Cut berries. Oh dear. It might be cut berries, it could be something else. It could be, oh no, we have the wood. Let's make this the highest priority, please. Uh, what else are they bringing? Yeah, got berries, wood, and... Alright, what are you guys doing? Bring... One shaper built. Oh yeah, we need to build you as well. Getting a bit distracted with other things. Okay, what's the problem? 
Oh, sinew. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what do we get from those rats? Oh, yep. Yeah, we are getting some sinew, so let's try that. Uh, <laughs> is... Let's see. Rituals. Do we have to give you a higher priority as well? There are things that I do forget sometimes. I think we saw like a ritual, didn't we? No, I'm a little bit blind. Oh, never mind. I think I hear a familiar voice. Oh yeah, here we go. So whilst they are charging and cleaning that rock over there, we should be able to see that this fog is gonna be repelled and pushed back. Oh, wow. Well, you look at that. Okay, let's slow down the time just a tiny bit. And now we got some new resources here as well. Wow. Okay, so now we can continue building in, in peace as well. Since we don't have very ambitious construction plans just yet, I am thinking... Okay, let's do <laughs> another five on this, this front here. Okay, and we should put a funky roof on some of our buildings. I really, I really love the building system in this game. So we get to change those things around a little bit, adjust it to our liking. So if you want a flat roof, we might want to have a slightly taller one. I think we like this wonk. Oh, 53% wonk. Okay. Yep, let's bring it right about here. That looks pretty good. And then we can do the same on this side as well. How high shall we bring it? Let's bring it like so. Okay. A little bit... This one looks a bit wonky, so... Looking uh, lovely. Alright, we'll bring the stairs up as well. I think that's maybe about the height where we shall go. And then let's place a roof right here. Okay. Here and confirm. Lovely. We still have plenty of resources, it seems. Everyone's pretty busy constructing. Um, let's see what else we can harvest. We've got some ice flowers over here. Uh, I know we need some sinew, so... Okay, tons of rats. We've got a rat infestation here. Something else. Smoke breed. Mandrake. Oh, wow. Probably need some more trees fairly soon as well. Here we got some foggy crystal and there's quite a few things we could gain from it, so sure, let's um let's grab one of those ones. And then oh wait a second, we've done our research already. Right, let's go this way. At least for now. So, what can we construct? We really need our one shaper. Alright. Up you go, and we are going to see who's really good at making ones. Right, it's Adriana. Yep, the highest priority for you. Fortunately, the ones are, or usually get made pretty quickly, so... Yeah, another thing we should do, let's go lightning. Uh, we got some braziers now, and... <laughs> okay, let's uh, give them some light as well, because if we don't give them any light... Right, those void mushrooms will grow in the darkness, and they are, they are terrible. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, so, put the brazier right like so. You can go here, okay. I think that's all we can do. So green ones, maybe for like hallways and stuff. Uh, since this is a workshop, let's give you, let's give you a blue one. We'll, we'll stick it over here. Uh, you are gonna need some more phoenix flowers. Okay, I think that's the one we're looking for. Yep, indeed it is. Okay, Grave Thoughts has been researched, right? And this one, what it does is we get to put down a modest grave. And um, right, when someone dies, they can uh, be buried over here... Uh, therefore lower the morale hit on everyone else because it's not going to be nice when you walk around you're studying, you're working and all you see is your uh, the body of your dead friend right, here we can see why those white shrooms are not good this one's 100% grown what happens is if you stand too close to it it's going to absorb your life juice just kidding, it's not the life juice it's going to absorb the mana so yeah, we can see here 35, 4, 3, 2 
and this can be really annoying when you're trying to construct things or you're in the middle of a session or a lesson and suddenly you are empty. Okay, how about the leap? Uh, where's the attacking? Rest, teach, aid, beast care. Beast care is only for students. Okay, one's... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, this one's Ward. I am blind. Adriana, you're gonna do the ones. And harvest 10, destroy. Hmm. Philip. This one's for you, and let's do hunting as well. We do want to hunt quite a few things down. What else could Philip do? I think mining during night is not a bad idea. And what else can you do? Repair, scriven. Yeah, we don't have the table just yet. And I think the rest is pretty fine, isn't it? Okay. The fog has it advanced again. No. Other new things we have here is honey drop bush. That's going to give us some honey drop and the seeds. So basically with the seeds we can replant them closer to our base eventually as well. Uh, bristle cone tree. So this one's yet another tree but it's just going to give us a bit more or a few more logs. Um, <laughs> what else? Smoke barrel. Oh yeah, we're going to need some storage as well. Okay, hold on a second. Do we have any ones? Right, let's slow you down for a second. We are going to produce all of those ones at least once. So the, um, the classical to until X order. Okay, I'd really love to get some better ones, but we are definitely not even close to getting any nicer ones. Okay, so that was the air. What else do we have? Air is over there. Dark one to until X, okay, and dark nature, yep, definitely want this one as well, because nature, um, nature, students, and teachers, or people over here, what do you even call them, they're not really people, are they, some kind of creatures, oh yeah, there's like wolfkin, there was, I forgot what, what the other ones were, but anyways, so they're, they're going to help us um, uh, harvest or cut down specific plants that only specific creatures can do. Or the ones, actually. And I, and I believe Nature Wand was going to give us some better, better trees later on. Okay, we got our first wand and that is... We got Earth, Dark and Nature. So yeah, we can do one of the fire guys. All right, exciting days. All right, exciting times. We've got the the leap that is ready. 15 minutes It is what it takes. Fire, begin ritual. And here is our first student. Oh, here. I don't think we need the tutorial just yet. I sort of remember a few things already. Okay, here goes Philippe. Let's speed up the time a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry. Yep. And any second now, we now have Alex. Alex has joined our academy. Unfortunately, he's going to have to sleep on the floor maybe tonight. Depends how uh, well behaved he is. We might actually be nice and build him a proper bed as well. Okay, so this one should be enough. We'll create a bit of a dormitory. Dormitory, I guess, for the, for the students. Okay, let's bring up one. We'll... Connect it up, I think. Alright, how big should the room be? One, two, three, four, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's do let's do something like this and place the walls over here as well. Nope, just one level. There we go. Okay. So with the with the rooms, let's have a look. We had a look at the schedule before. Priorities, yep, we've seen it. Consume. Don't really need this now in the groups as well. Uh, room type, here we go. So by default, everything is a school room and it doesn't really give us any effects. Uh, right now, I think the easiest things we can do is austere bedrooms. So what do we need? Must have a cot and must be private. So private means there is only, if you don't know what it means, you can just go down here, hover over one of those room types and we can see private, only one point of entry. So this is going to be private. This one now is private. And nothing else is really a private, is it? Nope. Okay. 
let's copy a few more beds in here. Let's do one. Oh no. Okay, copy. Oh dear. I am struggling. What was the shortcut for? Oh yeah, it was C. Okay. Um, maybe hide those because we can't really see what's going on here. Okay. One bed over there. Let's leave a bit of a gap. And okay, we've got three now. With the axes though. Oh, wait a second. You guys don't need a bit of a gap between the, the beds it seems. Let's do three over here. Alright. Uh, no classes available for students. That is not good. So let's, uh, let's see. Oh, this uh, jelly thing. That's going to be... This one's going to be amazing. Can we not place you down? Oh dear, you guys are in the way, aren't you? Drop this one and what else? Another tree over here. Okay, we'll do one jelly at a time and that's going to help us process some uh, some resources. There is also a lot of stuff down here, which is really, really bad. Okay, let's look at the research. So you're done. Oh, did we forget to do the next one we did? Um, <laughs> we need the chests. Okay, so the chest is done. Dancing the night away. Let's do some recreation for them. All right, and now <laughs> storage. Let's go over here and we'll do the big one. There isn't a lot of space here, is it? No. One, two, three chests, and... Okay, kind of difficult to maneuver here, but we'll be fine. Now, priorities. Let's make you... No, 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 no. Number fours, that's what we want. Yep, open them up, and then we shall be fine. Now, lighting... <laughs> Four oh, bedrooms. I guess they could also be the same color as corridors, right? Yeah. Let's place one over here. We can do the wall ones as well, but they have a bit of a penalty on the luxury. Whereas these ones do not, it seems. Yeah, we'll place a couple down. So this brings us to F2. Let's open this up and now it's going to show us how well lit those rooms are. These are all dimly lit, which is, you know, it's it's not too bad, but it ain't good either, so yeah. Okay, classes. Those students need to learn. We need the learning stone, and I guess we could do our sort of beginner classes down in the dungeon. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe give it the highest priority as well. Let's just get this done. And our teacher will be Philip. I think you're probably the best person, aren't you? Yeah. Because all the lessons are during daytime, you're going to be more available. And when it's nighttime, you're going to go and do some other stuff. Okay. Happy days. We have... Oh, wow. Okay. We have a few more students that we could hire. So Earth, we have Dark, we have Nature, and we have Fire. Earth dark nature fire what's the next one we can do water we get to water for sure all right Philippe you're gonna bring us a another student and this room could be for students perhaps well we've got six beds so you can choose whichever bed you want everyone is it already a room yes it is so that's gonna give a plus 2.5 conviction to the to the sleepers all right and here comes Philippe I think after we get uh, actually, no, Philippe, we, we don't really know who's who's going to join us just yet. But what I was thinking, unlock on the school. Let's do this real quick as well. Okay, we're getting, yeah, the second student, and then we can go and roam the dungeons. Here we go. We got Birdie, and Birdie, thank you very much joining for joining our colony. You, unfortunately, are going to go with us into the underworld. Let's do... Hmm. Earth or nature? I think we are going to do nature. Let's give this a try. So begin ritual. Let's have a look what's... Uh... Ooh, that sounded very uh, sinister. But um, yeah, everyone charge up your wands. We're going to have to go and fight some baddies. Don't remember if unlocking it was actually fighting anyone or not. Alright, who's the slowpoke? Alex, birdie, never mind, is the fog pushing in as well, oh dear yes it is, we're gonna lose all, 
nature one. Why is this one here? Can someone please move it in ASAP? And what else is here? Um, that looks like a smoke barrel. Yep, let's store this away as well before. Oh, okay. We got the under underworld now. Accessible. What do we have over here? Same thing over here as well. You guys are lazy, aren't you? Oh dear, we did not give it a highest priority. Okay, we got a few chests already. Actually, just one. And the second one is almost complete. Lovely. Right, so why don't we do a quick expedition as well? Birdie, Alex, Adriana, and Luna. No, Luna, you're gonna go home. Begin battle, fill up your magic ones. Rain is coming. Okay, so that's the bad one. Basically, everything that's outside is gonna take damage and will uh, eventually be destroyed as well. Yeah, bit sad, but oh well. It is what it is. Here we go, our first battle. All right, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty interesting menu over here. It's definitely not the style of our typical games, but if you have played similar games before, then uh, it might be a bit, uh, a bit familiar. Anyways, we get a uh, uh, what the blue number here says is how much mana it takes. So uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's take the Lancer Keeper out first. 30 damage and blind it. That's not good. All right, torrent. Another 50 HP left. Uh, surging strength. Uh, how much mana do you have? 90. Could be handy, but I'd like to make sure that you get removed fairly quickly. How much? Gives 10 power. Okay, well, let's do it. Ooh. That looks painful. Here we go. Another 20. 35, okay, so at least we're, we've taken out the first one. And the students are not doing a lot of damage just yet, of course. Uh, growth as well. Ooh, could have done the thorns before, actually. Why are you always hitting the same person? All right, fireball. Maybe, maybe we can get some crits in as well. 25 damage over here, not too bad. Ah, just 10 HP left. Oh, wait a second. He wasn't going to do another hit. And here we go. We have finally gotten our first victory. And we've uh, received two arcane scrolls. Which are very vital for advancing our university. Okay. Any notifications? Michael needs medical rest. Oh, yeah. So, we might change this up. Let's do... Medical. Where is our medical plate? Oh yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit more important um, because Michael is. Who was it? It wasn't Michael. Was it Luna. Nope. Uh, QA. Okay. Yep. His or her health is less than half right now, and it's not gonna recover unless they rest in the medical bed. So that's why we are going to have to change the uh, research a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we've pretty much seen quite a... Well, I wanna, don't want to see everything, but we've seen quite a few game mechanics already. And I must say, I'm really liking the, the style of this game. It's uh, it's very interesting, very familiar and, or similar to Oxygen Not, not Included in, in some ways. I like this kind of like a sort of sideways... Um, uh, like a dollhouse uh, building and constructing in this game as well. Definitely, definitely is very interesting. And and of course the special effects and the mechanics in this game. I'm sure there's lots still to learn, but okay. So for example, we have the roof or the floors here, but it looks like it's still leaking through. Very interesting. And then we had some kind of other spirit, another spirit wandering around as well, making a mess, isn't it? Oh yeah, lesser messy meddler. A poltergeist that wanders around your school, leaving filth behind, can be warded off with a spectral snare, which we obviously don't have right now. But okay, I think that's a good amount of work in the in the first episode, so let me know what you guys think about this game. I'm pretty excited about it, and I can't wait to bring some more episodes into this series as well. So thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.